and welcome back to my channel my name is Amanda if you guys don't already know and today I am going to be doing my Sephora gratis haul for the month of part of December and all of January so my bin was just accumulating over the month and I'm super excited to share with you guys uh, share with you guys everything I got so let's jump right into it First things first, I got a Skin Laundry um, Gentle Foaming Cleansing Face Wash. This is a full-size bottle. This is wonderful because I have like a drugstore one right now, which I know, don't judge me, but I was just waiting till um, mine was done and then I was going to go buy some good ones from Sephora. So I'm super excited to try this out. <clears throat> also from skincare, I got a Kotal Lee uh, Cleansing Water. So with this, you just... Uh, Put a little bit on like a cotton pad and rub it in your face it'll like remove part of it'll remove your makeup or just to help cleanse the face and you do not have to rinse it afterwards too so Caudalie is a really good brand and I'm super interested I'm super excited to try that also through Caudalie I got a smoothing glowing a smoothing glowing complexion beauty elixir and with this you can apply uh, before you apply your makeup and you just have like a couple spritz it has like a mint smell to it as well <clears throat> or you can use it to set your makeup as well and I'm super excited to try that I haven't tried that yet but I've heard like all the girls that were just raving about it so I'm super happy I got it and then I got a Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer so just a makeup primer and this one is the smoothing one so I know that this is going to work miracles because Urban Decay has really good primers in general. And also with that, I got a travel size of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. The same setting spray, it's just in um, a new packaging. And their setting spray has been like ultimately my favorite one. And then by uh, Dry Bar, I got the Double Standard Cleansing, Cleansing Plus Conditioning Foam. So this you can use in between your washing, your washing and conditioning your of your hair. So it says every two to four times. It says tip: use a traditional um, shampoo and conditioner every two to four washes, and then you can use this in between. So um, this one has like a really light scent and dry bar is a really good brand as well. So I'm super excited to try this. It's not the full size, but it's definitely a deluxe. <clears throat> also, I got um, Carez. I got the Greek Yogurt Foaming Clen uh, Cream Cleanser, and I have tried their um, their two in one primer. Or it's a moisturizer and a primer. It's the Greek Yogurt brand as well from Carez, and that one is really really good. But now I got the cleanser, and I'm super excited to try that one too. Also, um, through Makeup Forever, I got the Artist Acrylic. And this is in the color 202. I did swatch it on the back of my hand because I was looking through my gratis before I decided to do this video. And it's a very like bright pink. I could see myself wearing this mainly for, for Sephora. But it's also like a gloss in a tube that you, you just squeeze the tube and it'll come out that way. You can layer it too to intensify the color as well. They do have a lot of other colors as well. I think they have some more, um, more of the neutrals and then some of like the darker, like mold berry or more berry kind of colors as well. <clears throat> also, I got the Lala Retro, um, whipped cream by Drunk Elephant. And this is like a deluxe sample of Drunk Elephant. I did try the, this before. I did take a sample of this as well. And um, this one works really well too. You can use it like as a moisturizer after cleansing the face too. Super excited for that. <clears throat> also, I got a full size of the Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Foundation Primer. Um, I have used this before. I like it. It's not necessarily like my top you know, foundation primers that I like or makeup primers, but I might give this to someone in my family because I'm sure one of them will really enjoy this. Um, but you know, I might give it another try. I'm not sure yet. So we'll see with this one. <clears throat> I also got the Akai Body Power Cream and this has just like a berry scent to it. It's 
kind of like a light pinkish. And it's just um, a sample of it too, which of course who doesn't like some body cream? Can't go wrong with it. And it smells good. <clears throat> Next thing I got was the Diva Curl Whip It Good Wave Maker. This says Touchable Texture Whip, Texture and Volume. So with this, it says to apply a nickel size amount onto wet or damp waves and then scrunch it, leave it all over, all over, and then you can use the Diva towel and then air dry it or a Diva diffuser from Diva Whip or Diva Curl. And Diva Curl is a good brand as well, so hopefully I will love this and go back for the full size because my hair curls at the ends but not much at like the root. So hopefully that'll help with that. <clears throat> also, I got the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I have purchased this before and I do love it. It is waterproof, it'll last, I mean you can be crying and this will stay on. But you do go through it kind of quickly. Let me see, I think I have it here. This is the one that I previously purchased. And I ran out of it, I think, within like two months or so, a month and a half or so. So I'm very excited to get another full-size one through Stila. Thank you, Stila. Also, next I got um, through Bite Beauty. This is the a Guave Lip Balm. It was an all-cast gratis. And it comes with samples of the lip mask, which is the three different samples by Bite Beauty. And then I got a, a Guave lip balm, and this is a full-size lip balm. And it has a really, like, sweet kind of sugary smell. Almost like the Fresh brand, they're lip balms, too. And those work amazing, too. <clears throat> Next, I got a little mirror through Benefit. It's a little lip mirror. I'll probably put it on my vanity. Because they are coming with a new lipstick line that come, that's a, the Their Real. It's called the Double double the lip so it looks kind of like a very real mascara but it's actually like a lipstick and those are supposed to be launching on the first of February so two days ago two days ago I haven't seen them in store yet maybe that's when they first launch it and we'll be getting it later on but I'm excited to try those when they do come out next thing I got is by Tatcha and this is, oh, this is the essence, and it is, it says, anti-aging complex, plumping skin softener. So I'm thinking after you apply your, or after you cleanse your face, you would put this on the skin. I have to go back and read the directions, I'm not 100% sure on this, but it is in such a really cute packaging. <laughs> Also from Urban Decay, I got um, an all-nighter liquid foundation samples. This is from the colors 4.0 to 7.0. And this is just to see what color matches us the most. And then, you know, you can always go back and purchase it. It is full coverage, long wear, and it does have the matte finish. It says waterproof on here as well. Um, I haven't really tried this foundation, so maybe I'll go in and try it. I've heard a lot of good things and bad things about it. Some people say it like oxidizes, so we'll see. And then I got this for my skin laundry. This is just a little, oh, just shows the different kinds that they have, the different uh, face washes. <clears throat> Next, um, Anastasia had came in like three or four days ago and they were saying the rep, brand rep there was saying that they were going to give us a brow wardrobe which I was like what? I was thinking you know maybe one or two products. No we can't, we got the whole shebang so super excited. Um, we got the Anastasia stencils brow stencils and then it has different brow stencils to show for, like a slim high arch, petite arch, medium arch, high arch, or a full arch. So I don't necessarily use these for my brows, but maybe if I want to change my eyebrow shape a little bit, I'll go and try these. Also, I got my favorite Anastasia brow pencil. This is in the number 12. 
and it's really kind of thin so you can kind of like mimic the fake hairs in front of the brow as well and it comes with a spoolie at the end of it as well which is always convenient also I got um, a brown definer in the color medium brown uh, I would drop it and it has a spoolie on one end and the medium brown definer on the other and the me it's a horrible swatch but I think that it'll match me well um, the color I was using before was in the color chocolate and from dyeing my hair and stuff you know my brows weren't matching well so I had to go and buy a different one but I think medium brown is going to match me perfectly and um, I also got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, which is my favorite brow gel. Um, it really helps like to keep the brows in place all day so you don't have like little flyaways or anything like sticking up, sticking out. So this one's gonna, yes, I'm, I'm happy I got this. <clears throat> and last but not least, I got my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the same color, medium brown. Which, like I said, from dyeing my hair and stuff before, you know, your brows kind of don't necessarily have to match your hair, but should be kind of close to the color to it. So medium brown is going to work perfectly for me, where before I had um, a chocolate, and it's almost like halfway gone, and that one had a little too much warmth in it for me, I feel. So very, very happy with everything that I got. Um, yeah! So I'm super excited to try all of this and if you guys have any preferences or make me want, make, want me to make a video of anything that I did get, please let me know. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe um, to my channel and let me know of anything that you guys want a video of upcoming, okay? So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye. Thank you.